Okay, I'm going to attempt to do my uh, first oil change on my 2017 Honda Rebel 500 ABS. And uh, yeah, it's almost at 600 miles. I've got 588 miles, and they put braking oil in that needs to be changed out at 600 miles. So I'm doing it just right on time here. And uh, yeah, yeah, I've changed oil on like a million cars, but I never actually tried it on a motorcycle. And uh, so I've actually done some of the work already. I already, I kind of went to battle with the, the drain plug for the oil, but I finally got that to pop off. Um, but anyhow, so the, the things you need, I got listed down right here. So you got basically three quarts of uh, Pro Honda GN four stroke oil, SAE 10 weight 30. You definitely want to make sure to read the owner's manual because it really, it really breaks down exactly what kind of oil you need. And it kind of gets into some specifics. So, uh, but anyhow, this is the the right oil right here. SAE 10 weight 30. And uh, also want to make sure you get the Honda Genuine Oil Filter, which I've got right here. And yeah, I made sure it exactly matches. It's got all the, I don't know what language that is, Japanese maybe. And then it gives you some torque specs on there. And again, it's, you want to make sure you use a, a genuine Honda filter. And I always get a new uh, washer, so they tape that onto the top there for me. Um, and actually, if I were to do, do it all over again, I would I would get a new drain plug too, because like I said, I went to battle on that to get it off. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're also gonna want to get, I bought this thing for about 12 bucks, and this is a uh, oil filter, kind of like a socket wrench. It fits perfectly on the end of the, uh, the filter right there. It's got the, a wrapper on it, but it, it does fit perfectly. Um, you want to make sure to get a drain pan. So I got my drain pan right there. And uh, 12, well, <laughs> I was going to use a 12 millimeter end wrench. That ended up not working out. So this is actually what worked out best was a 12 millimeter ratchet with a socket on the end. And I actually ended up having to hammer the end of it pretty decently to uh, get that drain plug to pop. And so yeah, I've got that's where I've got it right now. So it also says to do it. You want to idle your engine for about three to five minutes. I've already done that, just to kind of warm it up. Kind of helps uh, you know, heat up the oil and get it out of there quicker. And I know there's there's probably like uh, you know shaving, a little a few shavings and stuff like that in the oil, which is probably why they want you to change it out at 600 miles. So anyhow, uh, and they want to make sure you're on a flat surface. I've already got it like that, and I got a bunch of uh, newspapers and cardboard boxes laid out so uh, yeah we'll get to that part next here okay so just a couple things on the bike here so you got your uh, your oil filter right there and uh, of course this is your crankcase I'm actually gonna take this off right now but this is your your uh, oil fill cap right here so I'm gonna take this off right now and I'm gonna put it in a cup and then uh, if you take a look down here, so um, where are my fingers at? It's kind of, you can see the kickstand right here. And then right there where are my fingers at, that's the, that's the uh, oil drain plug. Okay, so sorry, well, the lighting kind of sucks here, but you can see uh, there's your oil filter. And then, uh, <laughs> So I got it kind of hooked up right here already, a little trick I'm doing here. I got the a couple of uh, extensions connected up here to the oil drain plug. And I've already loosened it, so I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> get that oil out of there right now. It's a little trick I learned so you don't burn your hands. I just connect a couple of the extensions here. And uh, I'm gonna twist this guy right off. Pretty soon we'll start bleeding into the pan here. Here we go. <clears throat> there goes the oil. Okay, cool. So uh, I've been letting it, the oil drain out here for a while now. And you can kind of see the oil just kind of barely dripping right there. And so what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
I'm gonna fish out the the drain plug from the oil here. So uh, yeah, so I bought this little uh, extension here a while back, and it's uh, kind of a magnetic on the end, and it's gonna get it picking up the oil. Didn't work. Okay, so there you can see I got the new uh, washer and they actually use the same uh, drain plug. Next time I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna use a brand new drain plug because I did round it just a little bit. Usually I use a dr new drain plug every time for whatever reason. This time I didn't, but uh, this one looks like it's still got one more one more turn on it and then I'll definitely replace it at 8,000 miles which is the next interval. So next up I'm going to do the uh, change out the oil filter. Okay cool so you're going to see the oil filter right there and I got my oil filter remover tool on there and yeah I've already kind of loosened it but this all parts well these on cars always gets really messy we'll see how this goes. Give it a few turns here. It's actually really easy. And then, uh, so you can see it right there. Now I'm going to try to remove it here. So the rest I'm just going to do by hand. You can see it's kind of bleeding. Let it do that for a little bit. Now, yeah, using it on oil filters, if you just try and take it all off at once really quick, then uh, the oil just starts splattering everywhere. So usually I'll just let it get to the point where it's just dripping right there. And I'll take it all the way off. Okay, cool. A little drips right there. That's close enough. Now we'll just remove it all the rest of the way off. Spin it off there. There you go. One more comes out. There's the rest of the oil. So I'm just going to trip for a little bit longer here. Okay, cool. Yeah, as you can see, I got the, the oil filter all the way off here. And, uh, yeah, so there's the, the old one. You can see it uh, exactly matches the new one. As a reminder, do not jack up from the oil filter, obviously. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy over. And so you can see you got the uh, little, there's a little ring right on the rubber ring on the outside and I'm just gonna get oil on my finger here, a little oil and I'm just gonna a little bit around the edge here so I say just to do that just to give it a good I'm sure it seats well but not too tightly because that's where you run into problems if the oil filters on too too loose or too too tight. So next we're gonna pop this guy on here. All right, cool. So I pop this guy on here. All 
And we're gonna tighten as much as we can by hand here first. There we go. There you go. So that's on there. And then, uh, yeah, you'll see this thing uh, fits on here just perfectly. There you go. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of a turn here. There we go, that should be good. So that's pretty tight. Maybe just one more. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, oil filter's on and uh, the drain plug's in. And so now we're gonna drop the oil in. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to use a funnel on this one here. It's got kind of a small oil fill hole. Okay, number one's in now for number two. And last but not least, we're going to do number three. I'm not going to put all this in there because it says 2.9 quarts if you change the filter. I'm going to put, I'm going to probably put about three quarters of this in there. And I'm going to hold off right about there. And then, uh, yeah, so this one, it has a, uh, Right there, that's called a, uh, that's got an oil level window, but I don't know, I don't think that thing works that great. Basically saying the, the bottom stripe is the, is low and then the top stripe is too high. So you want to kind of somewhere between the top and the bottom stripe there on the side. Not sure if you can see that or not. Okay, sweet. So we got a little oil in, and uh, last but not least, we're going to put the the drain plug back in. Cool. So this is the first oil change. I'm a Honda Rebel 500, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to let it kind of sit overnight. I'm going to put some uh, carb a cardboard box underneath it just to make sure that uh, it's not leaking or anything like that, make sure everything's solid, and uh, I'll, I'll check that. I'll recheck the oil lever indicator tomorrow, and uh, you know, I think the nice thing about, about not putting too much in is you can always add a little bit more later, and uh Anyhow, I'm going to fire this guy up here in just a second, and uh, got about another 7,400 miles before the next oil change. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Okay, awesome. So, uh, ready to rock and roll. I'm going to fire up the engine here real quick. <clears throat> As you see, we got... 588 miles on it. Got her in neutral. Keys turned on. Throws like a kitten. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, right on, enjoy.